Yeah, what is it? So what exactly are landing pages on a website? So if you're watching this video, the chances are you're relatively new to affiliate marketing. You've come across the term landing page or lead capture page, and you're thinking that you should be including that as part of your marketing arsenal as well. And that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video. This is actually gonna be the first in a series of short videos where I'll actually talk to you about the concepts, I'll, you know, and I'll actually show you how you can actually end up building a page from scratch completely for free. So if you wanna be notified when those videos come out, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when I put those videos out. In this video, I'm gonna look at you know what a landing page is on a website. I'm gonna break down five major areas. So just define, define what a landing page is so you understand. I'm gonna look at the purpose of a landing page as well for those of you that are relatively new. We're gonna look at the elements of what should be included on those pages as well as different types of landing pages that you could consider. And then finally, I'm gonna give you some examples as well. So if this is something you're considering doing, you wanna stick around till the end of the video. So how do we define a landing page and what differences are there between a landing page and say somebody's home page or a website page on specific content? Well, this encompasses it brilliantly. So focus is why landing pages are so effective for marketing as opposed to a home page or a website, which is designed for exploration. So they want to keep the reader on their website for as long as possible, digesting their information so that they can then potentially go on to take some kind of action. So focus is what we want and we're basically asking someone to take an action. That's what we're trying to do which could be anything from taking them to another page or perhaps capturing their details, which in the next part of the video, I'll explain in a little bit more detail as to why that's so important. And what is the purpose of this instruction? Great question. What is the purpose of a landing page? Well, put simply, a landing page is a way for you to be able to capture details so that you can then remarket to that same person. Now, people come to your content through via whatever traffic means you decide on. You could do article marketing, you could do YouTube videos as I'm doing now, blogging, whatever it is through Facebook. But basically, they're interested in whatever it is you're talking about. Now, if they've put their hand up and they've taken a action, in other words, they've clicked on a link on your Facebook post, for example, and they've gone through to a landing page then that is where you want them to take an action and that is effectively giving you some details so that you can then contact them at a later date because on average it takes between sort of seven and ten contact touch points before somebody who's completely cold will actually decide to make a purchase so this is the only way that you can do that without you having to actually spend money on advertising so this is the whole reason why you want to build your landing page so what are the basic elements of any landing page? Well, there's three key areas you need to focus on. Number one is the headline. This is the most important part of your landing page because it needs to get someone to do something and that is to take an action. So you need to draw them in and you do that with your headline. So this is just an example of an opt-in page. The simplest and fastest way for a beginner to affiliate to build a profit-ready business in seven days. Quite a compelling headline. And then basically we have the call to action below, which is get started immediately immediately and then we've got the capture box so these are the main key elements of your landing page now there are lots of different kinds of landing pages we'll go into that in a little bit further on in this video but effectively this if you're starting out is as much as you need to do it wants to be simple clean we want the person to not be confused with anything they just need to be driven to take the action they've already come to your content they've watched it consumed it they are interested in it they have taken an action of actually clicking a link on say for, for example your Facebook profile and they're have ended up on your landing page you want to make sure that once they're on here they do fill out their details so great headline good call to action and just where they put their details in again as little information as possible because if they have to jump through too many hoops they're less likely to do it what do they look like so what do they look like well landing pages come in all shapes and sizes here are just a few examples for you they all have the same ingredients as i said before they need to have a really good headline they have, need to have a call to action and they need some way of being able to capture someone's details this particular one has another element to it, which is video testimonials of some description, or actually the people that are promoting the product, it's giving you some more reasons as to why you need to make sure you put your email address in. So that is something you can add as you get a little bit more used to what you're doing and you understand the process a bit better. But you can see it's a headline, it's asking for someone's contact details, and they've also got this option here where they can get sent text messages to be kept up to date. Now this one's just a little bit different because on the first page that you're taken to, so if this was your landing page, the person coming to here would be thinking well there's no way to put my email address in but they need to take an action first which is 
click this button to get the free case study. So once they've filled their email address in, which on this one is actually just an email address, so it's not even their name, which is actually quite good because um, it means there's less things for your prospect to do. They click on here, then they'll be taken to the free information. This one is a little bit different. So this is actually from a program affiliate program so this is the actual vendor's own landing page which they give you the affiliate the ability to use if you want to and it will just be your affiliate id that um, means if someone fills this out they will then be attributed to you if they decide to go and buy but again really professional looking a lot of these companies that do physical products have really great landing pages they've spent lots of money on testing these so they know the conversions are good but you've got a video here on the page which is telling them they can get 75 percent off Great headlines, you know, life-changing products, breakthrough marketing system, huge com compensation plan. So this is a getting other people to join the program to sell these products as well. So it looks clean, looks professional. Again, this one is really, really basic, and this is what I encourage everyone to start with because this is all you need, especially if you're a beginner. Just a great headline and a call to action, uh, a strap line bottom as well, just to bolster what the headline is saying that they can do so they can do all this in an easy to understand faster to implement copy a laser focused action plan step by step click for click so that's a really great way for you to get someone to take an action and if i have a look at this particular website again this is slightly different um, this is actually Philip Borrowman, who's somebody that i've learned a lot from um, he's talking about how you can get access to his you know, affiliate business online you can get out and unstuck again it says click here to take action he's got a few testimonials as well which again you won't have when you're starting out but it's a great way to get social proof and get people to take an action and all they do is they fill in their email address so this is a slightly different kind of landing page a little bit busier than this one for example but it gets the job done so there you have it we now know what the purpose of a, an opt-in page in opt-in page is we we know you know what it's for and ultimately what the differences are and the elements that you need to include on yours as well. So in the next video, we're going to take, to take you to the next stage. And as I said, at the end of the series, you will actually build out your free landing page with no out-of-pocket expense and you can actually start driving traffic to that as well so i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you haven't done so already please subscribe give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell and i will see you in the next video